Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today, we got some slapped ham. And this is, These scary things will test your bravery. Are you brave? We're gonna find out, ladies and gentlemen. Hit y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment to think double O. Let's go. Someone's opening a the door. There's a shadow. There's a light. Oh my. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super scary video clips that may just give you nightmares. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like, like this. Whaley House is a historic home located in Old Town, San Diego, California. Whaley House! I know this one because of BuzzFeed and their little paranormal shite. And it's one of the city's most famous landmarks. The two-story Greek Revival style building completed in 1857 is recognized as one of the oldest structures in San Diego. It was the home of Thomas Whaley and his family, and over the years, the Whaley House has also served various functions, including a granary, county courthouse, San Diego's first commercial theatre, and a general store. Thomas Whaley, a prominent early settler in San Diego, commissioned the construction of the house on land that was the site of both the city's first public gallows and a graveyard, fueling its reputation as one of the most haunted houses in America. I mean, that's dingy, just like, okay, there's a... There's a Gravel right there. There's a graveyard right there. This is the perfect place to put a home. There's nothing that could happen here. <laughs> no way anyone could. There's no hauntings that could happen here. Uh, in fact, the house was declared an official haunted house by the U.S. Commerce Department in the 1960s. What? And it's often featured on lists of the country's most haunted places. In the that is insane. That is insane. To have it be actually like called a haunted house, like it's been put on it, it's been stamped on it by like, professional people. This is a haunted house. That is insane. These photos captured on the property by paranormal investigator Kathy Raynard McNabb, we can see what she believes to be the spirit of a woman dressed in late period clothing. This looks like a fucking clown doll. What the hell are you talking about? This looks like a doll. It's like a clown doll. That's all it is. What am I look? Am I seeing something else? Uh, have they seen something I'm not? Stories of apparitions, strange sounds, and inexplicable occurrences are common in the Whaley House, with the most frequently reported apparitions being those of Thomas Whaley himself and his wife Anna. The ghost of Thomas Whaley is supposedly seen in the upper landing or heard moving about the house, with witnesses reporting the sound of his heavy footsteps echoing through the quiet home. The spirit of his wife Anna is said to appear in various forms of the house, particularly in the downstairs rooms and garden area. Even the Whaley's themselves thought the house was haunted as it was constructed on the site where Yankee Jim Robinson was hanged for grand larceny in 1852. Oh, not Yankee Jim. Oh, you don't want Yankee Jim haunting your ass. Yankee Jim ain't gonna play around, man. Hey, don't be no messer with Yankee Jim. Get your ass, little Yankee, said Yankee Jim. Family members reported heavy footsteps in the house, which they believed to be the ghost of Yankee Jim. Yankee Jim. So do these photographs show evidence of one of the resident spooks said to haunt this old house? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. This next piece of home security footage was uploaded to Reddit by user OKLifeGuard2014. Shows a seemingly normal kitchen during the day. However, a few seconds into the clip, we see some strange activity. So a door opens. A door in the background appears to open all by itself. Someone could easily be there opening the door. What do you mean? 
One keen-eyed viewer analysed the footage noting that it was odd that the door handle appears to move just prior to the door opening. Mum, listen, whoever saw that, I, I, I must say it's not true, but you got some eyes I don't got. I don't, I don't got eyes. This, this too damn grainy now for me to see that. The same viewer also spotted a mouse just under the kitchen sink at around the 45 second mark, shortly followed by a strange sound, which they believe might have been made by a dog. They theorise if there was a dog present in the house that it may have pushed the door open from the other side. So what do you think? Has this re There was definitely a mouse there. That was definitely a mouse. They own a dog and the door opened. This is not paranormal. Nothing about that is, can be is immediately paranormal. A mouse isn't paranormal. A mouse is a mouse. A dog is a dog. It's just That's just the way it is. Unless there's that one ghost dog video. But we've seen... The, you, you know what I mean. Uh, paranormal videos, like the door opening could just need to be done by a person. That's it. Reddit sleuth solved the mystery of the door's strange movements, or is there another way to explain the eerie happenings? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. This rather creepy photo was captured by a carpenter while working at the left. What the hell is this? Some fucking j what? I don't even know how to describe what is happening here. I don't even know what to describe what this is. What is this? A mansion in St. Louis, Missouri. One morning before work, the carpenter attempted to photograph his dog, instead capturing what appears to be a ghostly mist hovering above. I don't know what that is. The shape resembles the classic depiction of a ghost with outstretched hands, possibly reaching down towards the dog. The photo was supposedly taken indoors under warm conditions, and it's important to note that no one was smoking or vaping at the time, as it's prohibited in this historic building. The Lemp Mansion is a house with a tragic history. Built in the 19th century, the mansion was the family home of the prominent Lemp family, who made their fortune through their successful brewery. However, the family's prosperity was marred by a series of personal tragedies, which have led to the mansion's reputation as one of the most haunted houses in America. The Lemp family history is marked by several suicides. In 1904, William J. Lemp Sr. committed suicide in the mansion, still distraught over the death of his favourite son, Frederick, several years prior. Three more suicides would follow in the Lemp family. William Lemp Jr., who had taken over the family's business, died in the same building in 1922, after the Lemp Brewery fell into decline during Prohibition. His sister Elsa, who was considered the wealthiest heiress in St. Louis, also died by suicide in 1920 in her residence, which was not the mansion but is sometimes associated with the Lemp family's tragic history. The last Lemp family suicide connected to the mansion was that of Charles Lemp. He led a reclusive life and was the final Lemp. Five suicides in one family. Five. Holy shit. ...to reside in the mansion. In 1949, he died in the mansion and it was subsequently sold and converted into a boarding house. The boarding house quickly gained a reputation for being haunted. Residents complained of... It. I mean, if there was a place to be haunted, fucking heck, well, five people took their own life? Because of misery? Yeah. Inexplicable knocks and footsteps and the sounds of a phantom piano playing and the sensation of always being watched. The building fell into disrepair until it was purchased in the 1970s and turned into a restaurant and inn. Despite renovations, reports of paranormal activity continued. Ghostly apparitions, moving objects, strange sounds and feelings of being touched have all been reported by visitors. 
Among the spirits believed to haunt the Lemp Mansion are members of the Lemp family. The most frequently reported apparition is that of the Lavender Lady, believed to be Lillian Lemp, William Jr's wife. Other reported hauntings include the ghost of a young boy thought to be the illegitimate son of William Jr. and apparitions of other Lemp family members including William Sr and Charles Lemp. With so much gruesome history associated with the mansion and its inhabitants, one really has to wonder if this photo truly does show a ghost. Take another look and let me know what you think this could be in the comments. I have no idea, what I will say is this is freaking weird looking, that's all I will say. Alone. When Kim Kardashian posted this image to her Instagram, the internet ran rife with speculation. The description reads, So I took this pic last week when I was alone and now going through my phone I'm freaking out noticing a woman in the window. Looking at the photo, there definitely is a dark silhouette of a figure. A close up reveals that they appear to be drawing the curtain and looking out the window. While the image is mysterious, does it really show something paranormal? One viewer noted the figure's uncanny resemblance to Kim's mum and manager, Kris Jenner. However, the Kardashians are no stranger to the supernatural. Perhaps the most notable event involving the Kardashians and a supposed ghost was reported during an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, where Kim's sister Courtney and her ex-partner Scott Disick hired a psychic medium to cleanse their house of what they believed to be a spirit. The medium identified the spirit as that of their late grandfather and held a spiritual cleansing of the house to help the spirit find peace. In another instance, Khloe Kardashian shared an experience on her website about living in a haunted house early in her marriage to Lamar Odom. According to Khloe, she and Lamar both witnessed paranormal activity in the home, which stopped when they moved out. So could this photo show another instance of a Kardashian haunting? Or is this pose just an attention sinking grab for those sweet, sweet views? It can definitely be. It's Kim Kardashian, right? Could be attention grabbing. It can 100% be attention grabbing. Things that go bump in the night is a common phrase that refers to unexplained and often eerie noises that occur during the night, typically associated with haunted houses. While these noises may include mysterious footsteps, slamming and knocking sounds, disembodied voices are often the creepiest. Take a listen to this piece of audio captured by Redditor Packy Shields. I don't know what the f that noise is, but it keeps sounds like high-pitched laughter. Ooh, no, 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 no. The poster says that he was home alone when he captured the unnerving sound, after which he ran to his car. Ooh, no, 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 no. As usual, several viewers offered a few non-paranormal possibilities. Some thought it might have been an owl or some other type of bird that made the noise. Others thought that it sounded like a children's toy. So what do you think? Is the mysterious sound? It could be either of those. It literally could be either of those. I don't, it did not sound like laughter though. Maybe that's just me though. But it didn't sound like laughter. Found a ghostly EVP or is it something else entirely? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. Ooh, no, 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 no. The Gurdon Light is a mysterious, unexplained phenomenon that occurs near the small town of Gurdon, Arkansas. Often observed along a stretch of the old railroad tracks, the phenomenon is described as a floating, sometimes bobbing, light that appears at night time. Reddit user Within Mist believes this photo shows evidence of the event. After seeing the photo, another Redditor told of their own account. Around 2001, they visited the site with college friends, having to walk a distance down the railroad tracks. The Redditor then claimed to have observed the line's peculiar behaviour, appearing when they stood at a distance, but disappearing as they approached. 
Many theories have been proposed to explain the Gurdon Light, both scientific and supernatural. One of the most famous legends surrounding the light is that it's the lantern of a railroad worker who was killed on the tracks. According to the story, the worker was hit by a train and decapitated, and the light is his lantern as he searches for his lost head. Another story involved. That story is insane, yet I love it. So it's the so the man is sitting around. The ghost spirit is sitting around with its lantern, looking for its lost head. That is amazing and ridiculous at the same time. I love it. Involves a railroad foreman named William McLean, who was reportedly killed in a fight with one of his employees in the 1930s. The Gurdon Light is said to be McLean's lantern as he walks the tracks at night time. On the scientific front, there have been several proposed explanations for the Gurdon Light. One theory is that it's a form of swamp gas which can produce a phosphorescent glow. Others suggest it may be due to a piezoelectric effect, in which quartz crystals in the area could be subjected to stress, generating electric potentials and possibly producing a glowing light. Despite these theories, there's no definitive explanation for the Gurdon light. For decades, the mysterious light has drawn curiosity seekers. I would say it's even weirder if people walk up to it and the light disappears and you can't find it afterwards. That's what I think makes it weirder. Is to the town of Gurdon, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the unexplained phenomenon. Before we take a look at an eerie image captured in a public restroom, remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. This next image, uploaded to Reddit by user Yarmed, proves that something doesn't have to be paranormal to be terrifying. The poster claims that while using the bathroom of a local restaurant, they looked up to see this menacing figure perched above. After doing some digging, however, I was unable to find the actual location of the restaurant. So if you know where this is, could you please warn everyone in the comments section? Until then. This looks ridiculously stupid. This looks ridiculously stupid. I hate every single thing about this. This is not real. This is not a real thing that happened. No. I- No way. This is some good fucking trickery with photos. Then we'll just have to check the ceiling of every bathroom we go into. Now, if you love Mr. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.